Hollywood, social media, and media in general would have people believe that society has radically changed in the last 20 years. That society is far more accepting of things than it actually is. Especially over the last 12 years or so, the number of things that we're supposed to accept and believe and the number of things that we're not supposed to say have increased exponentially. It doesn't matter that probably around half the people don't actually believe in these things that they're told they're supposed to say. People want to be nice because that's what this culture generally tries to do, even though this culture is deemed as one of the worst things ever. So we're unfortunately teaching people to lie even more than we already do. Now, maybe that's one of the big problems with this culture is the fact that we don't say how things really are. We don't tackle things. We put things on the, on the side. And we tend to get into other people's business a lot. You know, we, we try to, to speak of our virtue all the time. We try to virtue signal all the time, even when it's totally inappropriate. But a lot of the activism is absolutely in bad faith when they come up to someone who disagrees with them. Much of it is trying to get people to say how they really feel, instead of being nice, you know. And this is so they can demonize people when they do say how they really feel. So they can pretty much destroy people. I'm aware that there are some that don't do it to destroy people. They don't do it in bad faith. They genuinely want to have a fruitful discussion. Maybe open some people's minds. But the ones who just want to demonize people ruin it for everyone else. There are just far too many activists who never argue in good faith against anyone if they even slightly sense that they disagree on something. If they sense that, then it turns into an argument of straw men and insults. I've been there. I've exhibited that behavior myself. I'm not proud of that. I'm sure that we've all done this occasionally. I try to give people a break when I realize that's what's happening, but I've failed in that area many times. I'm trying to be better. And I feel that I've improved quite a bit in just the past couple of years. Anymore, but particularly when I'm online, when I see people that are just blatantly not arguing in good faith, I tell them such, and then if they get really nasty about it, then I, I just leave the conversation. There's no point at that point, you know? Pointed at point, pointedy point. But I've been quite concerned about the lack of critical thinking, logic, reason, and the ability to argue in good faith coming from so many young people right now. I mean, the critical thinking part, my goodness. I mean, I, I, guess, I, I guess I can't go too far that way because I, I sure wasn't a, a very good critical thinker when I was young either, but I, I was, oh man, I was so, oh God, I was so clueless and so disconnected. But I don't know, it just seems when I argue with so many people that are really young and they're not religious, it still feels like I'm arguing with religious people, you know, even though they don't get their opinions from a religious book. They get their opinions from ideologies they've learned about. So many young people want to tear down all the systems that have been deemed oppressive in society. If I was young, I would probably want the same thing because that's what I would be getting taught. Not for us to continue reducing the negative effects of these systems like we have for many decades, but to dismantle and tear down these systems entirely. If we were to continue the route that we were going up until this millennium, where we continue to try to reduce the negative effects of these systems, then with enough time, these systems would lose their power entirely. And at that point, we could insert something else without a problem. And likely by that time, we'd actually have something solid to replace it with, which is pretty important. But that is not what's being pushed. People want change now. They want these systems to be dismantled now. And that's simply not feasible. Especially when we simply have nothing solid to replace them with. The things that people want to replace these systems with are changing all the time. Yeah, that's not going to work. You can't take something that's solid in society and replace it with something that's fluid. I mean, you can, but it's certainly going to be messy. Either way, change takes time. I'm not saying we shouldn't be activists, but we should be smarter about our activism. 
Otherwise, it's going to backfire on us in a huge way. As I've said before, I worry about these systems fighting back in a serious way. The most worrisome form it could take is direct violence. And if many of these activists are right about law enforcement, and we start getting in some dangerous situations, then law enforcement won't do much about that kind of violence. So yeah, people need to be smarter about their activism. Sure, be passionate about the things you believe in. Just don't let it blind you to the reality of things. Thanks for watching.